Brent's Burgers. Okay, burger review coming at you from Windsor, Ontario. Now I know the last review I was here, I was ranting about the Hampton Hotel in uh, Windsor. I did not go back there in spite of the fact that I really like their breakfast because they actually have meat at it. Um, it was sketchy as hell. That's beside the point though, I've gone to a burger place on the way called Burgers Hamburgers for All, which I love. I love, number one, that they've used the appropriate uh, given Christian name of burgers, hamburgers for all. I'm not actually referring to that in terms of there being a religious affiliation with hamburgers. It's just a, a phrase. Hamburgers for all. They've given the title the respect it deserves. And uh, I like that they're promoting hamburgers for all people. Everyone should be able to have a burger when they want a burger. And uh, we're going to see what we have here. So the burgers... They come in these containers, which makes you think it's probably going to be a bit heftier than a standard burger. The one downside here, because it is a drive through you can't actually go in and wash your hands, I don't believe. It doesn't look like that type of place. I think their goal is to keep people out. So, because I am a bit of a germaphobe and I haven't had a chance to wash my hands, and I don't really want to wash them with uh, blue Gatorade, I'm going to use this roll of toilet paper that I have in my car for emergencies, and I'm going to use that to, uh, to eat the burger. Okay, so let's take a look here. On a sort of sad note, it is a sesame seed bun, but let me just take a peek at the... Okay, condiments and lettuce and all that is on the top. Uh, I stand corrected. There are condiments on the bottom. They have condiments on both sides, so that's fine. We've been through this before. As long as the condiments are on the top of the bun, or on the top of the patty, if you want to throw some on the bottom below for a reinforcement, totally fine. Quite a thin uh, patty, but the diameter looks solid. So uh, we're gonna give this a, a go, hamburgers for all, and see what we have. Okay, there's a hint of charbroil fla char flavor to it. Nice texture. I think it could have stayed on the grill maybe a minute and a half, two minutes longer. It's quite warm. I just feel like the, the inside could have been cooked a little bit more. One more bite here. Okay. Here's the verdict. Six dollars a burger. Um, which, on one hand, in general, like six dollars for most burgers that I would get, I would say is pretty good value. They are pretty thin. They're definitely a step up from like a fast food burger. This is not a fast food burger. It's better than that. Um, and it's higher quality than that. I would say I probably have this hanging out somewhere around a seven. I think it's like a seven four maybe. Seven three seven four. We'll give it seven four. It's good service. Um, I would say even though it's six dollars because it's so thin. To me, this is like if this was like a four dollar and fifty cent burger, I would get them all the time. So pretty solid. Nothing particularly spectacular special um but not bad hamburgers for all i like i like the uh the concept and uh yeah i needed a burger it does the trick there you go hamburgers for all in windsor